We are back with actress Tiffany Thiessen and author of her brand new cookbook, Pull Up a Chair. In just a few minutes, we're going to tell you how you can meet Tiffany at a book signing happening yes. tonight. Yes. But first, cool. margaritas and tacos, girl. Heck yeah, girl. Let's of just course. Get right to yes, it. yes, yes. So, um, you know, in California, we do have lots of produce. So, you know, we get right. really good weather. Yeah. And so I was actually trying to come up with an idea um, to kind of fake out my husband, who's a big meat eater, of course. Meat um, Italian. Yeah, of course, of course, <laughs> right? And giving him a taco that's an alternative to meat. And he was so not like, cauliflower, what are you talking about? Well, to me, the way I put a lot of spices to it, and I'm going to show you how to do that, they taste like chorizo. So there actually is no chorizo in here. It's at actually, all. At all. There's only cauliflower. And that is the thing about meat eaters who are hardcore. It's yeah. just soaking up all the seasoning. It's So true. if you can it's use really, another item, yeah, yeah, go yeah. for it. So at first, I use tricolor um, cauliflower because so I just think it's pretty, but you don't it's have gorgeous. to, of course. Um, and I've just taken some coconut oil, and you're going to actually just kind of lightly toss this with a little salt and key salt and pepper always season your food it's really important it's what really brings out the flavors in your food is that a sea salt yes it is okay. but here's the thing a lot of people are like salt no salt it's salt's really good for you it's, it's supposed to be in your body right so it's you don't have to over salt it but salt is actually okay yeah so is butter people exactly. butter's really good too <laughs> Love me some butter. Yes, of course. So this is going to go in the oven, um, and it's, you just want to get it nice and golden. I'm going to show you a little swap, okay? So you can see because the magic of TV. Exactly. That's what happens, That's right? So after yeah. it's done here, we're going to actually put the seasonings, which I'll show you guys now how to do that. All right, so we have a little oil. We're going to get that warmed up. And this is really just to get the seasonings kind of put together. Okay. We have a little lemon zest. Mm. We have a little sweet paprika. It'll come out. Come on. Um, we have a little sumac, and this is cumin. And then we have, that's the sumac, sorry. This is your thyme, and this is your garlic, um, your granulated garlic. Sumac, right. I don't think I have Come that on. in my no. cabinet. What is that? Oh, you're not gonna mind. That's my fingers. They're no. clean, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I need a little, don't have it. Okay, so that's okay. That? No, it's okay. I just need a little spatula. You're just gonna mix this up. Okay. Um, and you're actually gonna pour this over. So let me just, you know, I'm gonna use this little spoon here. And how long did we roast this for? Um, that goes for about 45 minutes. Okay. You really want to so, like, get it slow. nice and good. Yeah, absolutely. And then once this is all heated up, and it, mm. it's a few minutes over there, but we're going to, again, do it a little quick. You're just going to get this over and really get this kind of coated. Those okay. colors are so beautiful. Can you smell it, yes. though? Yeah. It's so, so beautiful. This goes back in the oven for just a little bit longer. All right. And what temperature and we'll was it them. at in the oven? This is um, 325, 350. You can go as high. You know, the thing about ovens, it's funny. You can yep. put it in a recipe, but it really depends on your oven. Yeah. But it's around 350. Okay. okay. <coughs> so just watch it till it's a... Till yeah, it's my a, oven's on the higher side, so when I write recipes, I always have to remember that. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, no, this is the wrong one. Sorry. Yeah, we have a finished one. <laughs> Sorry about that, we everybody. Three ovens there we go. The there we go. Out. All right, so this is how it's sense. finished. Um, so pretty. It's so beautiful. Totally enhanced the color as well as well as the flavor and then this literally goes into your taco we've got them right over here i serve them with pickled onions i love pickled I do too. everything yeah. um, and i also serve them with a little avocado crema so those go down on the bottom i put the little you know cauliflower on top a little of that and i serve them with my cuban black beans oh my absolutely God. beautiful so good yeah i wish um you want to try some i don't know you want to yeah. try some on the yeah. fork uh -huh. here um here's some taste and your husband pork really pork. doesn't know that this is not chorizo I'm we telling you, it's now. so good. It's so good. It's mm. delicious. Isn't it great? What was that Here, sumac I can make spice? one for you right now. Here. What was the sumac spice <clears throat> that it's you like, use? It's, it's, it's called sumac. That's and what it's it, called. Um, it's like a lemon. Do you taste the lemon in it? Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. That is I love delicious. It. Okay, delicious. so let me make you guys a taco, and then we'll move over really quickly. So this is what you do. I forgot that the, the one's right here. Little pickled onions here. Beautiful. Mm. It's gorgeous. And I sometimes, I what I love to do with the, um, with the tortillas is I actually put them... Um, right over the fire. Oh, yes, I do that too. To get them nice and, and kind of crunchy on the outside. Well, okay. Courtney is too? munching on this. Tell I'm going to make you a margarita. You take the taco, I'll make you a margarita. Tell us what's in it. And we can make sure we do the whole uh, shaken up on Facebook, yep. on social. Yep. But tell us uh, what the secret it's sauce is in your margarita. It's watermelon puree, tequila, okay. of course. I have mint simple syrup, which is really easy to do. Orange liqueur, lime juice, and then I rim it with pink salt. It's gorgeous. With pink salt. Yes, like oh, pink Himalayan right. salt. So you take your, yes, it's gorgeous. Because it's a pink drink, right? 
Do a little pink. I You've love got it. your little pink salt. Here it is, right? All right, there. that's it. The finished product. You know we love margaritas and tacos here at Houston Life. So we're gonna do this entire cocktail segment right. on social. Tiffany, congrats it. on the book. Thank you so much. Thank you so much Thanks for stopping for by. Me. A reminder I to our viewers, by you the way. It's delicious. Oh, Thank you're you. so sweet. If Thank you, you so much. If you do want to meet uh, Tiffany, well, you can't because she's ours now. Yeah, Tonight she'll be at Books a Million and Katie for a book signing. For tickets and more info, you can search eventbrite.com. And after the break, you know him as the anchor of NBC's Nightly News, but did you know he's also in a band? Lester Holt joins us right after this. Cheers. Bon Thank you so much. You're welcome.